Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Before we get started, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Ugh. In this video, we are showing some life at camp stuff and I am talking about Winston, his health, and some tips on how you can be the mom or dad to a super healthy, active pup even as they reach their senior years. So let's get into it because I have some fun footage of Winston. So here's my new fan in action. This is the $5 fan I got from Goodwill. I clipped it onto my shelf and I'm just kind of aiming it at my door to help keep the flies out. Winston's over there working on his bone. I've heard thunder and seen some rain clouds, but I don't think we're going to get any rain. So I figured I would just test my new fan and gosh, it's, it's pretty great, I have to say. I am getting set up for the day, so I have my Van Power Solar out, and I have it strung through my driver's side door over to my power station, and since I have the window down about four inches, I actually busted out my mesh bug screens that go on my front windows. I only use these around summertime. They don't quite go all the way down on the window but that's okay and the mirror doesn't make a difference but they are nice and tight on the window like i said i have it down about four inches so it still keeps all the bugs out and then that way i can have my solar going through and it also you know helps keep the sun out because they're pretty dark bug screens but i got these on amazon i've had them for a few years and they're great Good boy drinking, you staying hydrated? Good boy, was your bacon good? I get a lot of uh, comments and I say compliments on Winston and how good he looks, how healthy he is, how young and playful and spry he is. He is 11, he'll be 12 this year. And, um, I think there are a lot of factors that uh, have have brought him to be this way. I mean, I've been obsessed with him his entire life, right? So I've really treated him like royalty. The first year that we had together uh, back in 2012 was very difficult because he was gaining trust and gaining weight and kind of getting over the abuse that he endured as a puppy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, you are a puppy boy. But after that, um, you know, I realized that I really wanted to dedicate my life to him. So we've been traveling for a long time. We competed in agility together. I've always socialized him, you know, doggy play dates. I ran a small breed meetup group at some point. We'd have 30 little dogs hanging out together. I, I'd have them at my house back in the day, like 2013, 2014. And, you know, that really helped him get socialized. He gained confidence. He gained confidence through agility. He gained confidence through PetSmart modeling, and that really helped our bond. So he's always been active. And that's a really big factor because when I adopted my senior dog, Penny, she was 12 years old. That was in 2020, and she was in rough shape. You know, her hips were in bad shape. She already had arthritis. And I believe it's because she was just like laying in a bed her entire life and she wasn't active. And although I gave her three great years, um, I think she could have lived a lot longer if she was more active and her owners gave her that chance. So when I look at the difference between Penny and Winston at 12 years old, I mean, it's night and day. Like Winston, he's like, a one-year-old dog still and I think that van life has really helped because we're outside all the time and I haven't been sick in years I never get sick I'm always outside I'm in the Sun and I think the same can be said for dogs uh, being in nature really has so many healing properties for humans and animals so that has really helped 
Also, I've always kept him on a high quality diet, but I've never kept him on the same food. So I do uh, a different food rotation for him, high quality food. He's on a senior dog hill science diet uh, cardiac kibble for small dogs, but I also then feed him like a meal topper with like chicken and pumpkin and veggies. Um, and then I switch that up, you know, so he has different tastes, he gets different vitamins and nutrients. But I also feed him human food and so many people have kind of come after me for feeding him human food. Well, look at him. He's like, he's seriously like a puppy. I give him bacon, I give him eggs, I give him beef, I give him veggies, I give him fruits. And I think that's really helped build his immune system. He has incredible heart health. I mean, he's just, he's really healthy. He's a really healthy kiddo. And I've kept up with his dental, you know, his vet visits every year. Now he gets a senior panel of blood work. So just like humans or vehicles, we all need preventative maintenance. And it's all about taking care of your dog along the way. Because when you put the care in and, you know, you put the time and the energy and the money into caring for them, they're going to live a long time. So Winston will live to be the Guinness Book of World Records oldest dog. I already know it. And I told him. So it's a done deal. I decided to uh, charge up some of my miscellaneous items. So I'm charging up my vacuum that I'm obsessed with. Oh gosh, I can't speak enough about this vacuum. It's incredible. And I'm charging up my shower battery. I will be showering today since Winston and I will be up here for a couple of weeks. I plan to use both my portable shower and take advantage of Planet Fitness on days that I go into town. So yeah, I was just kind of looking for some stuff to do. So I figured, hey, I'll get some of my miscellaneous stuff charged up. What do you think, kid? Oh man, where's the sun? When it goes away, it gets chilly. I let Winston explore off leash a lot as long as there aren't other dogs and people around. Of course, his safety is my priority, but you know, he's been attacked by a big off leash dog in my neighborhood before, so I'm actually not as worried about him out here in the wilderness. Because, I mean, we're always together, and if we're camped in solitude and we're not by anybody else, then I'm just not worried. So, I often let him lead on our walks. It creates confidence, builds the trust and the bond. And dogs peeing and sniffing just for 15 minutes equates to about a three-mile walk. So, their mental enrichment is just as important if not more important at times, than their physical exercise. It's so important to just let your dog be a dog, right? Not screaming at them, yelling at them, always telling them no. You know, training is really important, positive reinforcement training, and just letting them exist. Letting them do dog things. Let them dig and bury bones and bring you things. You know, let your dog be a dog. Dogs are on this earth for a very short amount of time, especially the large breed kiddos. You know, their lifespan is half of what it can be for the small breed ones. So let them sleep in bed with you. Let them do dog things. Take them on adventures. Because their lives are really, really short. But they're the only creatures that'll show you unconditional love. So they deserve the very best. I just took my shower and uh, Winston just hung out. Maddie kept an eye on him, but it wasn't <laughs> really a necessary, if you will, because he just laid on Maddie's rug. When I'm alone and I have to shower, I will just put Winston in his playpen and zip him up because he will literally just do what he's doing right now, which is relax, hang out. Oh, I feel... Uh... Fresh and clean after my shower. I think on um, Wednesday I'm gonna go into town before like the holiday weekend traffic hits. Just stock up on any uh, food stuff I need and I will also shower at Planet Fitness and fill up on my water. So yeah, I think Wednesday will be my town day. I know Maddie's gonna go into town tomorrow so we can hold down the fort for each other, if you will. 
But in the meantime, thank you for hanging out with me and kiddo in this video today. I surely appreciate you taking the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.